Alright, welcome back. This is Doki Doki Longer Roads Part 3. We left off right at the beginning of Saturday. And like I said in my post on TDLC Amino and probably in the last video, I think we've got a really big choice coming up here. Like, we have a really big decision here. Because if you recall from last time, all four of them want to hang out with us today. And we got to make a choice on who's it going to be. So let's do that. Let's jump right in. Uh, why did I set my alarm on a weekend? Good question, mate. I sit up on my bed, the choice lingering in my head. I have to make a decision. More than one never ends well. Hey, I look at my phone, a text from each of them. Have you thought about the library today? Any idea on what you want to do today? Where do you want to meet for manga? What time do you want to hang out today? I'm going to have a lot to do today. I intend to break no promises. We'll see how that goes. We shall see how that goes, my boy. I begin texting back, making plans with each of them. After about five minutes of planning, I have my Saturday all set up. First, go to the park with Monica. Then Natsuki comes over for manga, meet Yuri at the library after that, and finally, go over to Sayori. What could go wrong? I don't know, mate. I get up and begin to get dressed for the park. Hopefully we don't do as much walking as yesterday. Alright, so Monica's up first. I do not object. About 30 minutes before I meet with Monica, might as well eat. Scavenge for something easy. Eventually I find a protein bar. Eh, that'll work. These taste horrible, but I have no choice. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of protein bars. I scarf down the power wincing at the rancid taste. <laughs> Why do you even have those, dude, if you don't like them? <laughs> Disgusting. It's time to head out. I start for the door. Take one last look at the house. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah, you got that right. The Saturday breeze hits me like a warm hug. It's so nice. The whole walk there is a mental checklist. I need to make sure I'm prepared for anything today. Yeah, that's me out the door every day on my way to work, dude. Gotta have a pencil checklist, make sure. Do I got, that's <laughs> like, do I got this, 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 this? <laughs> you know, cause I always forget something. Look, just don't be weird. Smile, and have an open mind. The choice should make itself. I nodded some reassurance, uh, some reassurance, hoping for good fortune. Yep, I've been thinking about this moment all day at work yesterday. I got here about 10 minutes early. Enough time for a last minute check. Alright, I think I'm good. Monica texted me. Probably an update. She's probably here. I'm here! Where are you? Just at the main area. I'll find you. Okay, I kinda just woke up, so give me a second. My eyes are watering and I can't see. I scream very well. Alright, that's better. Founder. Hey, you look nice. You seem disappointed, though. Hey! Ben! Hi! Did I startle you? Uh, just a bit. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. Don't worry about it. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? She's not wrong. It's a picture-perfect weekend. <clears throat> yeah, it is. So, what do you want to do? How about the lake? Forgot all about it. 
Sure, let's go. She turns towards the opposite end of the park, leading me to her destination. We eventually reach the lake. It really is a sight to see on a day like this. Sure is. Why don't we get a more view- Why don't we turn completely towards it? I love those kind of shots. Hey Ben, I have something to show you. Oh, And what would that be? She picks up a rock and skips it on the water. It skips four times. Hey! Not bad. Not bad, but I think I can beat that. Picking up a pebble, I sling it at the pond. Flop. No skips. <laughs> Good first attempt, mate. Look for a uh, slimmer rock. Then make sure you throw it at the right angle. <laughs> you were saying? I haven't done this in a long time. Just getting warmed up. I throw two more, still none. Come on, mate! <laughs> uh, yeah, skipping rocks is one of those skills that some people just have and some people don't. <laughs> I know whenever I'm on vacation, I always try. <clears throat> it depends on what kind of rock you get, dude. You need, like, a flat one. And then you gotta, like, throw it... Throw it, like, as horizontally as you can. So that the flat part like skims across the top of the water. Come on! You have to do this with ease! Why is it so damn hard? I can see that you've obviously lost your edge at this. I used to do this all the time. I'll show you someday. Hopefully I'll be able to see that legendary rock skipping. <laughs> Didn't feel that sarcasm. <laughs> Come on, Pen. I'm just messing with you. I know you are. Yeah, yeah, but I definitely think I can make this one. One more. Six skips. That's more like it. Easy. Oh, come on now. Don't get overconfident. Are you challenging me? Maybe. It's on. We skip rocks for about an hour. There was never really a clear-cut winner. Hey, as long as you're having fun, mate, that's what matters. <clears throat> My arm feels like it's about to fall off. Maybe you overdid it a little bit. Uh, I think that's enough of that for today. I could do this all day! I'll believe that when the Winter Soldier shows up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, game. Nice Avengers reference. Comic Relief? That's awesome! <clears throat> or no, not Comic Relief. Comic Reference. Wow, um, I'm dumb. <laughs> you keep up with that stuff? Yeah? Did you think that was out of my league? <laughs> um, yeah, just a little bit. Well, I'm full of surprises, Ben. You should know that by now. Oh, trust me. I know. I know. I know it's a never underestimate you. I've only known you for about a week. Cut me some slack. Okay, fine. I'll give you that. She laughs to herself and looks at the potty of water. I look at my watch. Twelve. Natsuki plans to be at my place at 1. I need to be heading home. You okay, Ben? You seem a bit lost again. Yeah, I'm good. Just a busy day ahead. Why did I say that? Don't let me hold you if you have to be somewhere. It's not that I don't want to hang out. I just have schoolwork. You have homework? It's the weekend, though. I have some excessive teachers, plus some overflow classwork. I understand if you have to work. Go... I understand. If you have to work, go work. <sighs> Something tells me she is seeing right through that, dude. You sure? I feel awful just butting out. I'm having a lot of fun. School first, Ben. Don't fall behind in school just because of me. But... No buts. I have to go anyway. I'll text you later. Um, alright, see ya Monday? Yep.
See you then. See you later, Monica. That could have been very bad. <clears throat> Turn back to head home. I need to hurry if I want to make it before one. Reluctantly, I begin to run home. By the time I reach my neighborhood, it's quarter to one. Nice. I can walk. My pace slows and I begin to relax. One down, three to go. Just have fun. The fatigue of running finally catches up to me. I can barely stand. Oh no, not now! Just a little further! By some miracle, I managed to make it home still standing. Thank god, hopefully I don't look too bad. I stumble inside and try to find the closest mirror. I slide into the bathroom, nearly slipping on the tiles. My eyes focus on the man in the mirror. It looks like I just got hit by a car! I take off the sweaty shirt that's stuck to my body. Gotta do something! A text from Natsuki sends fear throughout my body. Shit! Too late! <laughs> hey, I'm almost there, just letting you know. Shit! 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 <laughs> what am I missing? I look down. Probably a shirt! <laughs> I follow through with my thought and hurry to the stairs. He almost... Fuck! I look to see blood on my shirt. Crap, hopefully it's not that bad. And she's here! No turning back now! I dash and open the door. A look of concern shows on her face. Is it that bad? Are you okay, Ben? Never better. Why do you ask? <laughs> I think you know why, dumbass. You're bleeding. She points to my forehead, touching it. Ah! Sorry, but you should know better, dummy. <coughs> what do you mean? You had all day to look presentable, and you look like you just got mugged. Just tell her what happened, dude. She didn't even try to sugarcoat it. This is Natsuki! What did you expect? <laughs> like, mate, what did you expect? This is Natsuki. Natsuki's very blunt. I literally just fell down the stairs. Ugh, whatever, want me to look at it? I'm taken aback by this. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't expecting her to be this kind. She really cares under that standoffish shell. Yeah, she does. Sure, come in. I'm still gripping my forehead from the pain as we journey to my room. Just put your stuff anywhere. We can read whenever you want. Dummy, let me fix you up first. She sits me down on my bed, observing my wound. Jeez, Ben, how hard did you fall? I was running down the stairs. I was in a hurry. Where are your medical things? Um, bathroom. I point to the room across the hall. <clears throat> she goes searching every cabinet until finding a wrap. Hold your hair back so I can wrap it. I say nothing but comply, wincing at the contact. There, that should do for now. She's no doctor, but it's better than nothing. Yep. Thanks, do you want to read now? Are you still up for it? Of course I am. Can't bail out twice, plus I owe you for this. Point to the bandages on my head. <laughs> yeah, I'd beat you worse than those stairs if you dropped this again. <laughs> and why did you even ask? Come on, let's read. <laughs> she sits down next to me on the floor, closer than I remember. This time she holds the monk, and we read in police, laughing and pointing out the pul the plot. For about an hour, we finished the volume she brought over. What'd you think? It was kind of dull at first, but picked up as it went along. You bet, it hit- I, <laughs> I'd hit you if you said it was lame. Well I, well, I didn't. I really enjoyed it. You're actually the first person that has said that. <clears throat> I have a hard time believing that. Surely someone else you know likes manga. Well, everyone just thinks manga is for kids. It's crazy. It's for everyone. Exactly. 
Everyone just needs to find their kind. Never seen her this agreeable. Well, manga is something she's passionate about, so of course she's gonna be, you know, open to discussion on it. Well, now that that's done, anything else you want to do? She looks at her phone for the time. <clears throat> I want to start another one, but I have to go. Hey, save it for Monday. Although I probably... Sh well, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should say that. Why? It's only three. My dad wants to be home at four. I'm not about to defy him. Her demeanor changes drastically. Oh, believe me, I know all about that. She sounds afraid of him. Because, because she is. Her father is not a very nice man. Something wrong, Natsuki? N no, I just have to go. <clears throat> I'll walk you out. She seems to resist the idea, but doesn't object. <coughs> Excuse me. God, she's gorgeous right now. <laughs> yeah? That's, that's one way to put it. Snap out of my trance. Yeah! Uh, dipshit, wake up. Snap out of it. So, I'll see you Monday? Yeah! Um, see you at school. Alright, see you later. Bye, Nat. That, that went very well! Aside from me busting open my head. Now for phase three, Yuri. I turn back inside and go to the bathroom. I remove the wrap to see the gash. Damn, that's pretty bad. At least the bleeding stopped. Put some more wrap on and look and look back in the mirror. Definitely gonna need a hat or something. I retreat to my room to change out of this bloody shirt. I wonder what Monica had to do, or what Natsuki wasn't telling me. Well, we all know what's going on with Natsuki and her father, but uh, Monica could be anything. <coughs> Excuse me, my god. Uh, but what I was about to say is uh, Monica could be anything. Monica could be anything, mate. She's the one that we never really know much about. So, yeah, um, I have no idea what's up with Monica. Might be best just to be ignorant at this point. As they say, ignorance is bliss. <clears throat> I change to where I don't look like a murderer and put my on, I'll put on my only hat of beanie. <laughs> yeah, you go, mate. It's scorching outside. She'll know something is up. Whatever, I don't have time to debate. Meeting her in 30 minutes. The second time today, I walk out of my room and out the front door. Halfway there, man. Just keep pushing. I turn the street and make my way to the library. Conveniently located across town. Great. More walking. I'm still recovering from Monica's excursion yesterday. You need to get out more, dude. <clears throat> my mind wills my body to walk. Slowly but surely. The city is bustling with life today. A Saturday around here never really has a dull moment. Nope. I'm sure it doesn't. People from schools trekking the blocks of downtown to and from various shops. I feel a sense of relief as I come to the base of the library. Finally. Finally. Now to find... Ben? Is that you? Well, that was easy. Hey, Yuri. What's up? Um, well, I just got here. Me too. Wanna head in? Yes, I would appreciate that. As soon as I walk in, Yuri is about walking about the shelves. She looks like she knows in every nook and cranny of this place. Probably because she does. She scans every shelf with watchful eyes, picking up books as she goes. Uh, Yuri? Yes? What exactly are we doing? Well, I'm just trying to find something to read while we're here. You have like 10 books. I tend to get a little carried away. Well, yeah, she probably picks up a bunch of them and then um, settles on one. 
Her innocence is incredibly charming. She's so easily flustered. Well, what are we going to read? I'm open to suggestions. What do you enjoy reading? Genre? Author? Um, I don't think he really has a preference. I don't really read a whole lot except for manga and some American comics. I don't really have a preference. Just pick out something and I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Nice save. In that case, how about this one? She holds up a book titled 1984. It looks intriguing. Oh yeah! A lot of people are saying the world's becoming more and more like a 1984 dystopian-esque future, so <laughs> I'm all over this. Sure, it's good to me. She sits down at a nearby table as I slowly sit beside her. We assume the same position as yesterday and begin reading. We finished the first hundred pages or so as she closes the book. What do you think so far, Ben? You know, I really expected it to be a history novel. Not one about Big Brother watching. Well, that's what that book is, from what I understand. Never judge a book by his cover. That saying holds true to all works. Sure does. Yeah, but the book itself is definitely interesting. It's a very popular book, so it must have some appeal to everyone. I see it has everything as irony. What do you mean? Like the place where he works is supposed to give the truth to the people, but actually they just lie. Lie. <laughs> because that's what they do. Interesting analysis, Ben. We'll have to read more to find out. Do we have time? It's around five. I have all day. I told Sayori I'd be over at her place at 7. I need to remember that. One more hour is all you got, mate. You can stay till about 6, then I think I should head home. What for? Homework. She just gave loads of classwork, which coincidentally turned into homework. Oh, that's unfortunate. Say that again. She smiles at my comment and reopens the book to the page where we left off. I'm barely staying awake reading this book. It's good. It's just been an arduous day. Rudy closes the book and glances over at me. Are you okay? You look exhausted. Yeah, fine. Just woke up a bit early this morning, so I've been trying to catch up all day. That was a total lie. My head is pulsing with pain. Well, it's almost six. Do you need to go? My phone. Shockingly, it's quarter to six. Wow, time flies when you're having fun, huh? <coughs> Sadly, though, I do have to leave now. That's fine. I appreciate you coming here today. No problem. See you Monday, right? Indeed. Alright, farewell, Yuri. Farewell. I turn to the library door and make my way outside. The walk back is peaceful. The mid-afternoon streets seem to become less crowded. Just one more... <laughs> A feeling of pain rings out from my head. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Do I have a concussion? <laughs> I like how he's just suddenly like, Oh, right, that's a thing. <laughs> the instant wordy eclipses my mind the rest of the way home. The pain seems to have gotten worse. I feel lightheaded. Aw, oh, shit. Is he about to pass out? Is, is he about to pass out, mate? That ain't good. No, I can't quit now. Just one more. Okay, but if you... Make sure I'm not late. Yeah, okay, dude, if you pass out with Sayori, that's not on me. It's quarter to seven. No time to go home. I just gotta power through this. She'll probably find out one way or another. And when she does, that's not my fault. I pull off my hat, revealing my warlike head wrap. Hopefully it won't be a big deal. I look up to see that I've made it to her house. I think. I mean, this looks like the place. The hit must have made me forget where it is. Jesus, dude. Ben, why are you just standing there? Duh! Where is she? She appears in front of me, scaring me half to death. Hey, you. Ben, what happened? You scared me to death! 
She points to my patchwork of first aid, completely avoiding my first statement. Yeah, because that's not what she was asking about. <laughs> oh, that. I just fell down the stairs earlier. I hit my head pretty hard. Do you need me to look at it? No thanks. It's more just an annoying pain now, but I appreciate the offer. She says nothing, but motions me inside her house. It's weird to be back here. Trip up to her room, he feels even more forgotten. Not on me. I can tell she's still concerned about my head. Well, yeah, I knew she was gonna bring us up here to look at it. Sorry, it's fine, really. Are you sure? It looks pretty bad. It's fine, Sayori. Uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. I wouldn't expect anything less of you, Sayori. <laughs> Sounds just like you. <laughs> Typical. What am I gonna do with you? Sorry, I just thought we'd improvise, like old times. You know? That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, uh, we can do that. <laughs> I don't think she was expecting that. <laughs> really? Sure, why not? Great! Let's go! Do it! Wait, wait! She pulls me back outside. You're improvising, dude! You're making this shit up as you go. Why'd she bring me back out here? Uh, what are we doing back out here? I didn't know it was such a hard question. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be outside. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, Ben. Look at the sky. It's super pretty. It's probably sunset. Wow, you're right. We lie down on the ground and simply look at the sky. Always the simplest of things with Sayori. It's what makes her her. Look at that one! She points to a white fluffy cloud. She really is a little kid deep down. Yeah, I see it. What about it? It's really cool. It reminds me of... Uh... Of what? Ah, I can't remember! I'll re but when I remember, I'll tell you. She rolls over to face me. Hen, remember that place we used to go as kids? We went a lot of places, Sayori. You're gonna have to be a little more specific. <clears throat> the place in the woods! The clearing we found! Oh, I bet that was fun. A sudden zap of memory hits me. I vaguely remember. I recall it. Why? How much do you want to bet this is gonna be the place we've been seeing in our dreams? We should go there! When? Right, uh, thank you, Sayori, I was about to say, right now, dummy. She hops to her feet, hoisting me up with her unlikely strength. Let's go! Sayori! Sayori, it's kinda... For what seems like the hundredth time today, I'm interrupted by somebody's ambition. Sayori, do you even remember the way? It's been years! Yeah, I went there a couple days ago. Why? No reason. Come on, I'm not falling for that, Sayori. It's nothing. I dropped the interrogations as a result of my head pain. She still continues to drag me to the woods. I knew it! I knew it! I called it! It's the place we've been seeing in our dreams! The sight of this place makes my blood run cold. Sayori! This is this! From the dream? Yeah! I think so. It looks familiar, don't you think? Way too familiar. Is that why we you were here the other day? I guess so, yeah. I look around and observe this place. <sighs> the memories come flooding back. This is so freaky. We used to come here <clears throat> oh 
almost every day. Did everything under the sun. I remember playing in the creek. What happened to that? You just stopped coming outside. I figured you got sick of it. That wasn't the case. I just had some issues to resolve. Maybe that's why you had those dreams. Yeah, maybe. Why would the others have these dreams, too? <clears throat> she falls into deep concentration. Well, I'm gonna let her think for a minute. I need a drink of water here. Ugh, there we go. <clears throat> I don't know. She speaks with a hint of fear in her voice. Yeah? People fear what they don't understand. That's how it works. You okay, Sayori? Um, you look startled. Yeah! I'm fine! Come on, you know that doesn't work on me. It's nothing. Let's just enjoy this for now. Sorry, I'm, I guess I got a little carried away. It's okay. Come on, let's walk. She snags my arm and guides me down the path. Just like old times. <laughs> um, Ben, can I ask you something? Her abrupt question surprises me. Sure, ask away. Remember when you used to run and climb everywhere? Yeah, that was a while ago, huh? <clears throat> I remember I used to try to keep up with you, and I would always fall behind. You would always drop everything and help me up if I fell. Common courtesy, Sayori. Yeah, but... Her sense is cut short as we look up as she looks up at the sky. <gasps> it's getting dark! We need to head back! But you didn't finish. It's fine, Ben. It can wait. It's obviously important. You wouldn't have brought it up if it wasn't. Despite my questioning, nothing else is said as we journey back home. That was awesome. We need to bring that back. I'm all for it. Uh, but what about earlier? What you said? Oh shoot! I gotta get home. Say, I'll text you later. Bye. She squeezes me nearly to death before going her own way. That was odd. Yeah, she's deliberately avoiding that question. Whatever, I need to get home myself. Yep. She wanted to ask something. We don't know what, though. <sighs> At last, the day is over. The walk up to my room is a long and dreaded adventure. My exhausted body hobbles to the bed, falling full force onto it. My forehead screams from the impact, but I'm too tired to even care. It's time to clock out. It's time. You should know that. I was expecting to have to make this decision earlier. But what will you do? You can write a new chapter. <clears throat> you can go the quiet, yet intense route. Or maybe one with a rigid exterior, but a caring interior. You could have everyone's dream girl. Or just like old times. This is where I break off. It's all on you now. This is what you were saying last time, dude. Don't, don't fake me out like that. And remember. The hardest choice requires the strongest of wills. This is tough. Real tough. You don't gotta tell me that. I know what I got myself into. But in the end, I guess I should go after. Oh shit! <laughs> this is it! This is the choice I was talking about, mate! <laughs> this is the big decision. Who do we go for? Well, I thought about making a poll for this, but. In the heat of the moment here, I'm going to stay true to my best girl. 
And you know who that is if you know me. Monica's everyone's dream date. How could I pass this opportunity up? <clears throat> yep, if you guys want, I'll come back to the other routes, but this is the one I'm most interested in right now. She's, that, she's, she's athletic, smart, funny. What's not to like? I'll see if she wants to hang out tomorrow. Chapter 3, Honest Hearts. Probably should have saved before that. Ah, oh well, skip it. That's what skip is for. <clears throat> Sunday. Um, I was about to say, um, hello? <laughs> it was just sitting on a black screen there. Clicking seems to have resolved it. It's just another Sunday. Wait. No, it's not! Sure enough, I remind myself of the choice I've just made. <laughs> this is great. There's no way in hell this works out, but... I got nothing to lose. False sense of encouragement backs me as I draft a text to Monica. Hey, I've got a free day. You want to hang out? I cringe at the sight of that, but my mind provides no other alternatives. Especially since you said you'd be buried in schoolwork yesterday. So I guess you can just say you hunkered down and got all of it done, but something tells me, like I said, she wasn't buying it yesterday. Reluctantly, I hit send. <gasps> oh, and now the anxiety sets in as we wait for her to for her to text back. <laughs> now we prepare for the letdown. I'm sure it'll be. Anxiety hits me like a truck when I see she's already responded. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Curiosity overcomes my fear as I reluctantly open the text. Sure. What do you want to do? Well, well, I gave him my best. I blink to make sure I'm reading this right. <laughs> this is why I love the Monica route, dude. No fucking way. There is no fucking way that worked. I check every aspect of the phone to make sure I'm not misunderstanding. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> this is why I fucking love these routes, dude. Because no one believes they are just worthy of her. That's, I guess that's what I like about it. The forbidden aspect it always seems to have. Dot, dot, dot. Holy shit! I'm not dreaming! Yes! Pumping my fist, I realize a terrible truth. I don't have a plan! I didn't think I'd get this far! <laughs> Just like Blank did. <laughs> Just like Plank did, mate. <laughs> now that I have you right where I want you... You'll what? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> This is great. I love this already. Damn it! I rack my mind for something. Anything we can do. Defeated, I reply with my only option. I didn't have anything particular in mind, so whatever you want. I just gave her a blank check. No going back now. I have a few ideas. Can I come over around two? That works out fine. I'll see you then. Glorious! Just like that, I have the day with the class star. Let's try not to let's try not to let shit hit the fan. If you still got that head wrap on from yesterday, you're she's probably gonna be wondering about that. Getting out of bed, I rub my forehead. There's still a noticeable bump. I wonder if she'll notice. No, dude, just just don't. Just don't. You can tell her what happened. 
opening the closet, I see I have a very limited set of clothes. Sports teams, jeans, and my uniform. Damn, I need to hit up some stores. I pick a sports shirt. It's an American football team. The Falcons? Hopefully the collar doesn't choke me. Ha! I laugh at myself and throw on the shirt and some jeans. Where the hell did I even get this shirt? I don't watch football. Did you get it from one of your folks as a present? For your birthday or Christmas or some shit? Ah, whatever. I like the colors. Even turning to the clock, I see it's half past noon. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Damn, did I sleep in that late? I scold myself for my laziness. Wait, I have like an hour before I really need to do anything. Like I said, dude, yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> Pulling my phone out of my pocket, I turn on a favor to mine. YouTube. Hell yeah! Nothing like a bit of mindless videos to ease the mind. You know it, man. <clears throat> That's what I do after work literally every day of my life. Pulling up a video, I find a seat on my bed. First few videos, I look up at the clock. 1.50. Yep, here we go. Why am I like this? Sluggishly, I get out of bed and go downstairs. Was that another text noise? I swear, I keep hearing a texting noise. Knock, knock. Here we go. Okay, maybe I don't. I check my camera to make sure I'm presentable. I look good enough. Let's do it. Hello. Hey, Ben. Words fail me as she stands in front of me. <clears throat> I, uh... <laughs> He's short-circuiting, folks. <laughs> Ben.exe has stopped working. Are you okay, Ben? You look like a statue. Dude! Dude! Say something! Anything! <laughs> uh, I was... School... God damn it! He is so... He is so at a loss for words, dude. He's so intimidated by this. He actually didn't think he'd get this far. And he's reacting just how I expected him to. Wow. <laughs> it's been a load recently, but it's getting better. You? It's school, I guess. Night. Nice response. Nice response, dude. I have the conversational ability of a wall. <laughs> well, maybe she'll find a hole in it. <clears throat> so what's the plan for today? You'll see, I have the whole day ready. I'm not sure if I should be happy she wants to spend the whole day with me or scared that it might be like last time. Ah, just wait and see, dude. Sweet, let's go. She turns to the door, guiding my hand with hers. The weather is perfect. Hopefully it'll stay like this throughout the day. She's taking me to the city. This is probably going to be another shopping spree. Ah, you never know. The streets are full of people going from place to place. After what seems like forever, she finally stops. We're here, on your right. This isn't a big mall or even a store. It's a cafe. I wouldn't expect anything else from you. That's always one of the places you wanted to go on a date. Looks nice, let's go. <clears throat> she nudges me inside. Ooh, nice. To my surprise, there's almost nobody here. Yeah, nice way to explain the background. I come here a lot, but I've never seen it this empty. Maybe it's just our lucky day. <laughs> maybe. We order our stuff. Monica notice me, notices me pulling out my wallet. What a gentleman. I'll, I'll get you. I got you today. Ben, don't. Too late. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> come on, he's just being a gentleman. You invited me. It's the least I can do. I flash a smile and turn to go sit down. There you go. He's finding his stride. <clears throat> I'll find us a place to sit, alright? Okay, I'll bring the stuff when it's ready. Sounds good. I look around and see that I can sit basically wherever I want. Looks like I got the easy job. I plop down at a chair and pull out my phone. Nothing interesting, as per usual. 
Monica comes back into eye shot with a tray in hand. Let's eat! Finally, something I can get behind! A good bit of time passes before she breaks the silence. Hey, I have a question. Her tone is low and almost inaudible. I have an answer. I don't know anything. Why did you text me today? I thought you would have wanted to see Sayori. She says this like I'm too good for her. Surely she doesn't believe that. Dude, of course that's what she thinks. Because Monica is never really an option, so of course she's going to be surprised. <clears throat> she's not used to this sort of thing. You know, as much as the game depicts her as the class star, she never really has this kind of interaction. So she never really gets to do this sort of thing. I had fun yesterday, so I figured we'd have... So I figured we'd just have another good time. That came out weird. But you've known Sayori longer. I have, but I still wanted to see you again. I would be lying if I said I didn't want to hang out again. Sweet! She can stand my dumb ass! But what if Sayori needs you? Man, she will not let this go! Is something wrong that I should know about? No, she just talks about you. A lot. She, Sayori talks a lot in general, so I'd expect that out of her. But that brings me to a question. Oh? What is it? What do you do outside of the club and at school? I imagine you're very busy. You're right, I am busy. I all I have to always be working to maintain myself. What do you mean by maintain yourself? Surely you're someone who thinks of me as the class star, right? Well, that's what everybody thinks. I know better. Yeah, I think everyone does. Well, a lot has to be done to be where I am now. So I don't really do a lot outside of writing or studying. There's nothing else you do? I really just eat, sleep, and breathe school to be the person people want me to be. Damn, this took a real turn. Well, what did you expect, mate? <laughs> not, not, not everybody gets to hear it from Monica herself, so... This is the other side that you don't see. And this is why I love her. Where's the fun in all that? It's not really fun, but it's the only way to be what I'm told to be. Why do you have to be someone you're told to be? That seems a little controlling, if you ask me. I prefer we talk about this somewhere private. I don't want this to be a public thing. Yes, ma'am! Oh, sorry, I just wanted to- I know you want to help, but you need the full story before you try. Oh, I know. I know. I understand. The mood suddenly dropped. I really screwed that up. No, you didn't, dude. No, you didn't. Listen. Listen, if you want me to- No, you don't have to go. How'd she know I was going to say that? Don't- Question, Monica. We still have the whole day. I'm not gonna let one bump in the road throw us off. Are you sure? Yes! Yeah! Come on, I still have a few more places to go. I can feel the physical demands already. <laughs> Brace yourself, man! She gets up and walks to the door. I follow. The mid-afternoon sun hits us hard. The crowd seems to have thinned out a bit. Where to now? You'll see. We've been there before. <laughs> I, I think he's just, like, nervous sweating. I already know where she's going. <laughs> oh no. This again. You know the drill, Ben. Let's see if you're ready this time. We'll see. I say that very unenthusiastically, hoping she'll drop the whole thing. She won't. Might as well try to enjoy it. Just enjoy it. 
She grabs my hand and I prepare myself for another workout. Yep, feel the burn. It's good for you. I, I'm on my feet for eight hours a day at work. You can do this, man. About 30 minutes into this whole thing, my phone goes off. I wonder, wonder who that could be. So I got my phone. I see Sayori sent something to the group chat. Hey guys, do we still meet tomorrow? I smile at my phone. Monica seems to take notice. What's so funny? Sayori's usual behavior. She wants to know if there's still a meeting tomorrow. Of course! Why wouldn't we have one? I don't know. She asked, not me. I relay the message back to Sayori. Monica just said we still meet tomorrow. Ooh, are you with her? It seems Sayori forgot this was a group chat. That being said, Yuri and Natsuki also have some input. Um, here is the thing, dude. <clears throat> you just said, yeah, it's a group chat, but Monica didn't send anything to the group chat. So yes, of course that implies you're standing right the fuck next to her. As usual, he won't admit that he is. He's very secretive about these things. Are you are you assuming what you are you assuming what you know about me? Everyone's ganging up on me. I notice Monica smiling down at her phone. Surely she's seeing this, <laughs> she, and she's enjoying every last second of it. Feel free to chime in at any time. Oh no, this is way too good to interrupt. <laughs> yes, Monica is enjoying the carnage. God damn it. <laughs> Looking back to the screen, I swallow my pride and type. I, yes, I am with her, actually. Before I know her, it's Sayori and Natsuki fire back. <laughs> Ooh, how sweet of you, Ben. I knew it, you perv. <laughs> She's laughing her ass off. <laughs> and I am too, mate. <laughs> that makes two of us, girly. <laughs> that makes two of us. How do I stop this? If you want to get out of the hole, first you gotta put down the shovel. Damn, that was pretty deep, but I feel like I've heard that before. So you're saying ignore them? A fire stops burning when you stop giving it fuel, right? I guess you're right. Can you at least help me out if they bring it up tomorrow? Sure, it's probably just jealousy anyway. <laughs> yeah, because you know all about that. <laughs> I wish. Come on, Pen. Anyone would want to hang out with you. Me, the anime watching hermit? <laughs> I doubt that, but whatever you say. Don't be so hard on yourself. Confidence is key. It sure is. I'm confident that you're wrong. I don't think it works that way, Pen. Well, that's how I interpreted it. So it'll stay in that way forever. Don't be so sure. Everything is susceptible to change. It sure is. I can't find a way to counter that. I'm not sure if it's because she's right or because she just captivates me. Well, I got nothing, so you win this round. I've never seen you at such a loss for words, Ben. Is something wrong? Say it, don't say it, don't say it! Yeah, I'm fine. Just haven't been on my game today. She probably saw right through that, but whatever. Yeah, of course she did! Cause this is Monica! You can't play games with her like that! She will see right the fuck through you! Well, be sure to be on your game tomorrow. I have a new thing for the club to try out. Which is? It's a surprise! I don't want to ruin it for you! I don't know why, but her saying that makes me feel a little uneasy. Monica looks down at her phone, I'm guessing to check the time. And she still looks concerned at you, dude. She still looks worried. I hate to be that guy, but it's getting kind of late. We should probably head out. I look out to see the sun setting over the horizon. Ooh, perfect timing! We get to watch the sunset together! Guess I lost track of time. Damn, guess we have to. 
feel a sense of defeat hit my soul. <clears throat> she leads me outside and eventually back to the neighborhood. No comment about the sunset? At all? The cool air of the night is relaxing. A gentle breeze flows like water through the air. Looking to my side, I see her. How on earth did I land a date with her? You sent a text and you went for it. That's how. She's so perfect and I'm just me. Do you need something? Shit, I think I stared at her too long. No, I was just thinking. About? Well, you certainly are good at putting yourself in holes. Yes, you are. I was thinking about today and how I never thought it would happen. What do you mean? When I texted you this morning, I didn't even believe you would respond. <laughs> Why is that then? I just thought you'd be busy. You're the image of perfection. I, man, I imagined I wouldn't even be on the radar. Did I really just say that? <laughs> she's probably not gonna like that, but she's probably used to hearing this sort of thing. Everything is not as it seems, Ben. I figured you'd know that by now. Oh, I do. He doesn't. Also, I'm gonna take a moment to save my audio here. Alright. There we go. What does she mean by that? I know, but I just thought I was too low on the social ladder. Anything can happen, Ben. That's true, I guess. But is she implying... Wait, is she implying that... Well, this is my stop. I'll see you tomorrow. I snap out of my trance to see that we've arrived at her house. See you tomorrow, Monica. Bye! She disappears into her house. I turn back to my place. Today went surprisingly well. Yeah, it did, but you're probably going to have some questions to answer tomorrow. I'm still on cloud nine that I'm even here right now. <clears throat> the night grows colder, proving, providing motivation to get back to my heated house. About 15 minutes pass until my house comes into eye shot. Who's that? Yep. Hey, you. I knew you'd be the first to I knew you'd be the first to come question me. How'd it go with Monica? It was a nice day out, but I'm sure I'll get an earful from Natsuki tomorrow. She's just jealous, Ben, you know that. Yeah, I might just use that to my advantage. <laughs> eh? Just don't be mean to her. She's a bit much at times. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, dude, don't be that guy. Dude, don't worry, I'm just looking to get back for all this mindless teasing. But if you tease her back, does that make you mindless as well? Yeah, dude, yeah, dude, take the high road. Yeah, dude, don't, don't stoop down to her level, I guess you'd say. That just, that just feels mean to say, but yeah, just, you know, just, just take the high road. No! I know what I'm doing! Okay, I have to go, but I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, night, Sayori. Good night. She trots back to her house with the same childlike behavior as usual. At least she didn't tease you. Laughed myself and find the front gate. I unlatch the front door and come to a stop. I really just spent the whole day with Monica. Wow shower myself with praise as I move up to my room. <laughs> yeah! It's so nice to see my bed. It's so nice. I face plant onto it and feel the soft embrace of my mattress. Finally! Sleep! So today went rather well. But what was it she didn't tell you at the cafe? What's going on behind the scenes? Should you dig for the story? Or just happy, be happy that it is what it is? Only time will tell. 
Monday. And um, we're going to keep going because <clears throat> we've only just begun. Shut up! The morning sun greets me with an abundance of sunshine. I just want to see more of this route before we quit, so... This is going to be a longer episode. This is going to be a long one, so... You know, that's... You know, saying it hasn't been long already. It's been an hour, so... <laughs> Buckle down, folks! I got plenty of time before work today, so I'm taking advantage of it. At least it's a nice day. Roll out of bed and begin my daily routine. The water runs as I inspect myself in the mirror. I see no trace of my head wound anymore. Well, that healed fast. Nice! I look normal again. Now nobody will question you about it. The scalding hot water jokes me, jolts me awake. Shit! Too hot! I forget how hot the water can get. I just have to power through it. No! Dude! That's when you turn that shit down! I can't stand hot water! Afterwards, I get out and dry before putting on my uniform. Focusing on the mirror, I see a somewhat presentable teen. I don't look half bad. My ego continues to pat itself on the back as I make my way to the front door. <laughs> this is that confidence Monica was talking about, dude. The cool wind is cancelled out by the sun's warmth. Boy fit. I'm coming! Sorry's loud voice breaks the silent ambiance. Again with the running story, we have plenty of time to spare. I forget! She's speaking between deep breaths. I don't understand why she sprints. Because she likes to walk to school with you, that's why. Well, now that you're here, ready to go? She perks up as if she's not tired at all. Yeah, let's go! Turning in the direction of the school, we head off. We get there about 20 minutes early, early, so as usual, I have to improvise. Hey, we have a little time. Want to go to the club room? Sure. What for? I think it's better than just standing out here in the hallway, don't you? I guess that's true. Come on. Her little kid instincts kick in once more, and she darts down the hallway. She's so silly. Yes, she is. About three minutes later, I find the door with Sayori bent over, catching her breath. Was it worth it? Now that I think about it, yes, because I still beat you! I roll my eyes and laugh. Whatever, I still have my breath. I slip into the room with my snarky comment ending our exchange. <laughs> Sari follows me into the room. Monica is behind the front desk with her eyes glued to a book. Hey, Monica! Duh! Hey, Sayori! I can obviously tell that Sayori scared her with her sudden outburst. What are you doing here this early, Monica? I believe I can ask you the same question, Ben. Well, I always walk to school with Sayori, and sometimes we end up here early, so... <laughs> Touché. Ben wanted to come here instead of standing in the hall, so here we are. Yeah, and that about sums it up. I look closely at the book on the desk. It's a calculus book. Yep, doing some studying, I see. Yep. I point to her open volume of mathematical bullshit. <laughs> That's what I think of calculus. Yeah, I'm not too hot in that class. Don't be slipping. I'm sure you'll get back up to speed. Thanks, Ben. Hopefully I will. Sari whispers to me. Is that how you flirt? What? No, I'm way better than that. Hmm? And I said that way too loud. You idiot. Sarah so was just asking if I... If I what? The words get caught in my mouth. The words get caught in my throat through fear. If you for what, Ben? I turn to Sarah. He seems to be enjoying my weak social skills. Help me. I say this almost inaudibly. <laughs> Thankfully, she sees my look of desperation. You spelled desperation wrong. I just asked him if he was flirting with you. The sound of my hand hitting my forehead must have been pretty damn loud as it drew a silence. Saria so smiles <laughs> after her so-called help. Not exactly what I meant by help. 
Monica seems to be enjoying it, though. <laughs> I don't know, it seems to have gotten through to her. Surely enough, Monica finds my suffering quite funny. <laughs> That's one of the essential elements of humor, man. Ah! I have to go! Bye, guys! Bye, Sayori. So flirting. I feel a rush of blood to my face. I'm positive that I'm red-faced. It's not... I... Uh, <laughs> you're so cute when you flustered. I will say, if that was flirting, it needs some work. <laughs> she says this playfully, but I'm sure it holds true. Yeah, it does. But I'm one to talk because that was never my strong suit either. I'm not really that kind of person, so... You know? I mean, it wasn't... I just... Just, just, just shut up! <laughs> just shut up, mate. You're only making it worse. Dude, stop! You sound like a radio going through stations. <laughs> exactly! For the first time, I concur with my mind and shut up. Well, I would love to stay and see where this goes, but school is about to start. My heart sinks, even though I'm making a total fool of myself. I don't want to go. Who would? Oh, okay. See you after school. Yep, see you then. Well, that went poorly for my pride, but it made her smile, so that's a win. <laughs> I'm counting that as a win! <laughs> Remembering I have school, I head out to the hall. The mass of students is something I can never prepare for. I'm getting pushed and shoved all over the damn place. After a few minutes of survival, I make it to calculus. Shockingly, I made it on time. I fall into my chair and look up. More, more mathematical bullshit. One day I'll understand this. I hope. That day never came for me. Ugh. Classes drag by, but I managed to make it to the end of the day. Why don't they get to see my- I mean everyone. Yeah, can't even lie to myself at this point. I feel a sharp pain on the back of my head. I bet it's Natsuki. As I thought. <clears throat> Ow! That's what you get! For what? I've literally done nothing. You're a perv, you had it coming. And so the torment begins. Well, can you at least give me a warning next time? The pain surges in the impact area. She hits hard for somebody her size. Yeah? Don't underestimate Natsuki's size. I'll think about that. Well, I'm going to the club. You coming? Duh! I'll just go with you. I don't object, but I'm not thrilled to be with the person who just assaulted me. All the students have filtered out by now, leaving a few stragglers. I feel Natsuki grab my blazer. I'm dragging her. Come on, is this fair? Shut up! Just go! Seeing no chance of victory, I drop the conversation while lugging around another human. <laughs> <laughs> the torture of dragging somebody comes to an end when we reach the club room. I whip around as she nearly falls down. Hey, watch it! I almost fell! Well, who is the one holding on to my blazer, huh? Whose fault is that? Oh, sorry, I didn't know it was part of my involuntary job description. She looks me dead in the eyes, I'm sure with a bit of rage. I'm going inside. Well, that was uncalled for, especially after I was enslaved. <clears throat> I wipe the thought from my mind and focus on what lies ahead. Yep, time for Monica's surprise. I see Sayori and Monica talking. Yuri is nowhere to be seen, and Natsuki's in the back. Hey Ben, how was your day? Same old, same old. Nothing new. Yours? Really good! I had so much fun today! That's great! How about you, Monica? A stressful day, but I got through it. Hey, as long as we make it to the end, right? She flashes her signature smile that makes me lose my train of thought. A hand waves in front of my face, scaring me half to death. Earth the bend! You okay? You just froze! I'm fine! Just spaced out a bit. Yeah, she has that effect on people. Monica surely saw right through that weak excuse, but Sayori seemed to buy it. Sayori just seems to wander off with little explanation. 
so about today is she talking about this morning what about it the surprise I told you about yesterday my soul sighs with relief thank god she didn't bring up what happened earlier what about it writing writing what books that's a bit too ambitious I was thinking poems poems who am I Walt Whitman <laughs> I'm sure there's a smart joke there somewhere, but I'm not, I'm not, it's not coming to me. Sounds like fun, but what's the catch? We just write and own our skills. Sharing is optional for now. These people don't have to read my shitty writing. <laughs> when do we do that? Right now. Okay, everyone, I have an idea. Everyone perks up and makes their way to the front. What is it, Monica? We're going to start writing poems. That's what we came up here for? Yeah, just to try something new. I love it, let's do it! I'm down for it, at least only you, Natsuki. Fine, just because I don't want to be a buzzkill. Nobody seems to be, nobody seems to be asking where Yuri is. <clears throat> it's kind of, that's kind of sus. Awesome, just get some paper and start writing about anything you want. Do we have to share these? No, not yet. Just own your skills for now. It's area Natsuki, you retreat to desk to write. I stay up front. Shall we write then? Yep, let's do this. She takes a seat next to me and starts writing immediately like she already had an idea. Of course she did. I stare blankly at the sheet of paper, racking my brain for inspiration. I got it! write about her we don't have any we don't have to share so she won't see it um you seem to forget that you're sitting right next to her so of course she can just glance over and see it what could go wrong yeah this could never go wrong that and like i said yuri still isn't here so she could walk in and glance over at it i start writing at a pretty fast pace good so far the question is do we actually get to see it I feel a tap on my shoulder enjoying yourself Duh! Was, she, was she reading it you, yeah like I said you seemed to forget she was sitting right next to you so yeah I just you've been writing pretty diligently I look down and notice I've almost filled two pages Jesus Christ that's a bit much for a poem don't you think not sure if I should be proud or ashamed. Um, I would say neither. You just got a little carried away. <laughs> I guess I got a little carried away. Bam! Exactly! No, that's good! It shows you're passionate with what you're writing about. Damn right I am! I guess you could say that. I'm really just putting it all down. A look of curiosity covers her face. Can I read it? Once again, I tense up from shock. I don't respond. <laughs> Ben.exe has stopped working. And that's what could go wrong. Yes! <laughs> that's why you shouldn't have been sitting right next to her when writing about that. She reaches for the papers. I'm powerless to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's not even like we had a decision. She's just going for it. <laughs> She starts reading. My face feels as hot as the sun. I feel my ability to move come back to me. I managed to get up from my chair. Oh, dude, don't even think about swiping that shit from her. Don't, don't even think about it. Her facial expression she seems to shift as she goes through the lines. Finally, she finishes. Now as a new hell, but now a new hell awaits me. What she thought of it. Ben, I feel like I know what you were writing about. Actually, it's a who, isn't it? Well, it's really vivid and descriptive. You clearly put a lot of thought into this. Stop beating around the bush and put me down already! We'll talk about this after everyone else leaves. I'm guessing you want to keep this private. Find me after the meeting. We can talk then. Alright. 
My voice is woven with terror. Does she like it? I think she did, dude. I think she just wants to discuss it a little more in depth. At least I can take my mind off it for now. Let's see what everyone else is doing. Sayori is deeply focused on her paper, but she only has a few lines. <laughs> I've said it before, but this face will never get old with me. This face is just adorable. Boop. What you're writing about? <laughs> ah, nothing! She quickly hides her paper from my sight. Private subject? Well, it's not done yet. Can I see it when it's done? We'll see, it's not my best work. Hey, neither's mine. Yeah, but you wrote like two pages. Yeah, he got a little carried away. I don't even know how he wrote two pages. What was that all about anyway? I, I can't even remember exactly what I wrote, but I know it was about her. It all just kind of came over him, I guess. I wrote about something special. It was about Monica, wasn't it? <laughs> you know him too well, Sayori. <clears throat> what? Who told you? You just did. That's so sweet of you, Ben. <laughs> Keep it down, I'm already embarrassed as it is. She read it. That's good, right? Don't you want her to know? No! Wait, yes! I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I bet it'll be just fine. You make people think happy thoughts. I bet she's full of them right now. Ha, thanks, Sayori. I needed that. She never fails to make me feel better about myself. That's what Sayori does. Hard not to like Sayori for that. I gotta keep working on this, but I'll let you know when I'm done. Alright, see ya. Bye! That boosted my confidence a bit. I guess I have time to see Natsuki. Hopefully she's cooled off by now. Per usual, she's fiddling with manga. Is it never where it's supposed to be? She turns around to face me. What do you want? Just seeing what's up. Need any help? Point to the box that's way out of reach. I can get it. Yeah. Yeah, I... We'll see how that goes after how it went last time. You sure? Fine, I can't get it. I step into the closet and pull down the box with these. With these. Man, <laughs> vertically ch being vertically challenged sucks. <laughs> being short sucks. Where do you want it? the ground for now. I comply and look back to her. She looks like she's waiting on me to talk. Something on your mind? Huh? Sorry, I kind of zoned out. This must be what I do to Monica. I feel the imminent pressure to leave and let her be. Well, if that's all, I'll let you read. She grabs my arm before I can go. Are you forgetting, dude? Are you forgetting something? Thanks. Like I expected, she doesn't want to show gratitude, but she feels like she has to. No problem, let me know if you need anything. Now since that is squared away, I can revisit my main goal. Um, I would have spent a bit of time reading her manga with her since you've been kinda, you know, doing that for a couple volumes now. Don't you want to keep doing that? My soul burns with atonement and determination mixed with anxiety. The feeling carries me back to Monica. Just be cool, dude. She probably already knows. How are the rest, Ben? My confidence drains swiftly. I remember who I'm dealing with here. They're fine. Sorry I was writing, and I guess Natsuki either finished fast or gave up. That's just like Natsuki. I'm sure she'll get used to it. I feel like we're both avoiding the elephant in the room. I think it's time we wrap up the meeting, don't you think? But there's still like half an hour left. Plus, where the fuck is Yuri? I think that's the real elephant in the room here nobody's addressing. We have to, we have to discuss some things, don't we? Oh, right, that. 
Okay, we're gonna cut it short today. You're all good to go. To my surprise, not even Sayori says anything. Everyone just leaves. Um, something tells me that's because they know what's up. Well, damn, that was quick. So about earlier. Why did you bring that up? Oh, right, your work. It was something, to say the least. Yeah, but you knew it was about somebody. How did you catch that so fast? I'm not sure. I guess I just got that feeling from it. But who? Seems like you hid that pretty well. At least I did something, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think anyone would be reading it. Sorry about that. I was just curious. Shame layers her voice. Don't worry about it. It was bound to get out eventually with Sayori breathing down my neck. <laughs> I guess you're right. You want to go? Sure, let's roll. Not a soul to be found in these halls. The silence echoes our footsteps through the cement walls. She takes my hand as we walk. I feel butterflies swarm my stomach. You're awfully quiet, Ben. Is something wrong? No, he's just not used to this sort of thing. Great, put on the spot again. Yeah, I'm just thinking about what I wrote. For once, I'm not lying. You can't seem to get that off your mind, can you? It might help if you tell me what it was about. Your piercing smile and innocent appearance stifle my want for privacy. Gah, oh, fine, I'll tell you. I feel sweat drip down my back as I bring myself to say it. It was... about you. Oh. She looks as if I just told her somebody died. I see a state of total disbelief. I don't think that's what she was expecting, which honestly surprises me, but... <clears throat> it shouldn't. Because she never expects this sort of thing. She never expects this sort of treatment. Dumbass! Why did you say that? I... I... She releases my hand and storms out the door. Monica, wait! I've chased her all the way back home. I can't seem to find her. Is she embarrassed? I never thought of her as one to be that way. Oh, oh boy. Well, this just got interesting. Monica! Nothing. Damn it! Where would she... The sound of my phone sends a current of hope throughout my mind. From Monica. I'm sorry, I just... need some time. I feel my heart sink to the ground. I hastily respond. I understand. Let me know if you need anything. A severe sense of defeat eclipses my soul. I really fucked up this time. She probably just needs time to process what she just read. She probably, or not read, but yeah, she probably needs some time to process, you know, what you just said. I drag my feet all the way home. I barely have any energy left to lift them at this point. I don't even want to go inside. I don't want to see my room. My legs give out from under me, and I fall into the grass and roll over to face the sky. At least the day is nice. Can't screw that up. The weight of coming up short seems to bolt me to the ground. I feel useless. Maybe this was one of the acceptable losses. But I've gained nothing! Loss at this point is not acceptable! I blew my chance all because I was too hasty. Why am I like this? The wind blows softly. I feel weightless. Why did she run? I've never seen her like that. My mind races to form some sort of explanation. An hour passes before I remember I have to go inside. Yeah, she kind of just left us in the dark there. With little motivation, I get up to face a new problem. Homework. Oh, right, that's a thing. Thought she needed some time? Sayori? 
Hey, I saw you just lying in the front yard. Is everything okay? How do I tell her this? Should I tell her this? Nah. She's probably got enough going on as it is. I don't need to add to that. It's just a long day. I needed to relax and was too lazy to go inside. Do you want to talk about it? I can come over if you want. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. That would be appreciated. Okay, I'll be there in a couple minutes. I toss my phone aside and focus on the outside world through the window. On your best poker face. She can't know about this. Nodding with determination, I see her coming down the street. Right on schedule. I swing open the door to see an energetic Sayori on my doorstep. Hey, Ben! Hey, Sayori, come in. Concern instantly covers her face. So what was it? Huh? What was what? Your poker face is terrible. I can tell something's wrong, Ben. Brilliant strategy. Any more bright ideas? <laughs> I think I screwed up today. Eh? What do you mean? Monica left with no explanation after we left school. It's a bad about... Oh. She instantly comes to the obvious truth. So what are... So what will you do? I... I don't know, honestly. I haven't talked to her since the end of the meeting. What happened then? She asked who it was about. I didn't want to tell her. Did you? Yes. <gasps> what happened? She just stuttered and ran off. Like a computer glitch or something. Like I said, she needs time to process what's happening. Eh? She didn't say anything? No, she just texted me a bit later. I've never seen her that hesitant. Maybe you just caught her off guard. I don't know what to do. Just trust that it'll work. You're good to me, so be good to her. But I don't- no buts! I gotta go, but good luck with all that. You have my support. Thanks, Sayori. It, it means a lot. Just just like that, um... She storms out the door with a sense of urgency. Um, yeah. Like the ominous voice said, uh, stay true to who you choose. And we're not about to back down now. That was weird, but hey, it helped. Something tells me deep down, Sayori's not really happy about this, but... I turn back to my bag that sits on the couch. Great. My sense of responsibility overcomes my laziness. Cracking open a binder, I begin. Ugh, I need a drink of water, guys. Ugh. About an hour passes before I finally finish the excessive amount of work. That's too much to be considered legal. That was at least five pages. The sun dims in the sky. Night falls. Sweet, I can finally justify falling asleep. The night is well upon me by the time I settle into my room. What did you do wrong? Nothing! As usual, my mind won't let me live something down. I MUST suffer! Should I text her? Give her space, dude! Give her space! L let, let her take the time to figure it out. That's what she needs right now. It's probably best not to. Good. She'll come to you when she's ready. I swear this thing never shuts up. Wait, it's not a text. Yuri has left the chat? Oh, shit. That can't be good. Whoa, what? 
Why would she just leave? She wasn't at the club today. So... Um, hold on. Okay, the character files are still there. Had to make sure. Wait, where has she been? You're just now thinking about that. I can suddenly recall that I haven't even seen Yuri in three days. Saria sends what seems to be an SOS. What happened to Yuri? Why did she leave? I'm not sure. She's not responding to me. Me neither. Any luck, Ben? None. I might need to do some investigating on my own. My first instinct is to text her. It's a terrible plan, but a good baseline. Hey, I just saw you left the group chat. Everything okay? Hopefully she's fine. I would hate to see her in pain. School in 20 minutes. Tell nobody. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Here we go. The response is much more cryptic than I would like it to be, but it's a lead. On my way. It's getting dark out, but this is Yuri we're talking about. It's worth a little late night. Oh boy! The night is not as cold as once before it. It's quite nice, actually. In about 15 minutes, I find the door. She has it open? Come on. Yuri, how did you- I'll explain inside. I comply and step into the darkened school. What's about- what is happening right now? Thank you for coming, Ben, especially at this hour. Uh, don't mention it, but how did you get in? I have my ways. Okay then, but why did you bring me here? Right, the issue. Surely you've noticed my absence recently. Yeah, I picked up on that. You weren't at the club today. Why? Everyone has. Where have you been? I've had my own demons to deal with. It's been an arduous couple of days. Demons? Like, legit? Or metaphorically? Metaphorical. I've just had to deal with them more than usual recently. Do you want me to help with fighting them? I can try my best. I don't think it would be very, be, be very beneficial. But I don't see a reason you can't try. What exactly has been happening? I have to find a way to release my stress and pain. A form of relief that most would not turn to. What? I have no idea what you mean. I think I know what she means and... Ugh. And this will probably overwhelm you. I think I can take it. No, no you can't. I know where this is going. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Brace yourselves, folks! Ben, since I've had these recurring thoughts of guilt and lust, I've turned to a sharp edge. Bewilderment, what the hell does that mean? What do you think it does? Yuri, I'm not good at reading between the lines. I need you to be more direct. Just... don't overreact, okay? I won't. I, I've been using a knife to help my pain go away. Like, cutting yourself? That's one way to put it. Yes. Yuri. She looks at me with sincere horror. Yeah, you think she's gonna be comfortable flat out admitting this? Of course she's not! She's trusting you! Forgive me. I shouldn't have said anything. It's fu- She turns and runs down the hall to the exit. I'm frozen in confusion. Also, how have we not set off the alarm? What the hell? Yuri! She's gone. Get it? Why would she do that? Why would she run? I wasn't hostile, was I? The moon shines bright in the corridor windows. I gotta get home. The dark proves to be challenges. I gotta bump into at least five walls on my way out. 
Do the others know about Yuri? Do they even know that she's alive? Uh, you, you were just there, weren't you? She said come to the school and tell no one. Of course she's told nobody else about this. She wants you to keep this between the two of you. She's trusting you, dude. I told Yuri I wouldn't tell anybody, but this is something serious. I need to tell at least Sayori or Monica to get them to stop worrying. Does that count as breaking the promise? In her eyes, yes. All this responsibility is making my head hurt. Yeah, now's not the time to be thinking about this. I'll just talk to Yuri tomorrow, try to clear some things up. That's assuming she'll be there tomorrow. Collapsing onto my bed, I assure myself of my plan. Yeah, let's do that. Quite the day you had. The Monica papers, the Yuri exchange. It seems you're split on what to do. Something tells me you'll have to leave one B and figure out the other. We'll see. Okay. I think that is where we're going to stop for today. This just got really interesting. So I guess that is what we're coming back to next time. Figuring out what our next course of action is between um, what's going on with Yuri and um, figuring out what's going on with Monica. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Take care.